Isaiah 46, here God describes himself as a mother, our mother, your mother, my mother. And he says, I carried you from the womb. I carried you from your birth. And even to old age, I am he. And even to your grey hairs will I carry you. I have made and I will bear. I will carry you and I will deliver you. So, He's describing himself as a woman who carries the baby in her womb. Then the baby is born. She carries the baby. And he says, and I am the mother who is going to carry you even when you're old and grey-headed. And again, you become like a baby. Again, you can't walk. Again, you need looking after. I'll still be your mother. Now, he's also the everlasting father. You see here a totality of love, a totality of care for us. Beautiful imagery. Now, there is in every man that fear of absolute loneliness. That desire to still have some human root in your mother, in your father. When they die, you are that much older and you are alone. And as you go through life, other people, like your children or people around you, they look to you as their senior figure. And who do you look to? This is one reason for the chronic intense loneliness that people complain of in older age. And here is the glorious comfort that, yes, I understand that, God says, and I created you. And I know, yes, I know everything about you, and I know how you feel. Look, I am with you. I've not gone anywhere. I'm going to lay you in your grave. Oh, it's wonderful how people can turn away to agnosticism or atheism or just mere religion. A couple of hours a week think about all this stuff. It's terrible. God is there for you as your passionate, loving father and mother, and he will not leave you. Mummy, don't leave me. Don't leave me alone. I'm scared alone. Little children say, we're all the same. When you come to your grave planks, to water grave planks, it's the same. But he is there and he loves you. It is as simple, as gloriously simple as that. And he, as he keeps saying, I will save you. Save you from the grave.